Hi guys, let me show you something really quickly. Okay, let me show you what happened. Yesterday I had again a charger which did not work. After initial fault finding I noticed there was absolutely no problem with the charger. It just went into the DC protection. I took a look on my breakers and all seemed to be normal, but actually, again, a DC breaker. This is a 40 amp breaker for a 25 amp charger. It internally disconnected. Uh, now you might remember that about six months ago I actually replaced all this breaker bank with this new NanQ non-polarized breakers. And now you see that there is no NanQ left here anymore except these two and this one is now again also failed. So more or less only one breaker is left. What happened to this one? It failed, I replaced it. I had a non-polarized main breaker, 125 amps, expensive thing, it failed, I replaced it and now this one fails and I will also have to replace it. What happens? Maybe you can see it. If you take a look here on the up to the breaker, you can clearly see a brown spot. This is a heat spot. It does not come from the terminal. I checked all the connections. It came from internally. So inside the two contacts, probably due to corrosion or whatever, it, they built up a resistance, heated up the breaker and caused the malfunction. So yeah, I contacted NanQ. I complained that already half of the breakers which I bought are broken. They just asked me what voltage I'm using. I said, okay, I have a 48 volt system. The breakers are all rated to 250 volts, so this should be no problem. And then of course I never heard anything back and they also did not ask me for my address to send me some other ones for free. You know, uh, most of my downtime is here on my power wall and 90% of all the downtime comes from non-working DC breakers. And I'm kind of pissed about it already. Of course I'm living here in a harsh climate and this might be an issue. That's why what I would definitely recommend to you if you also have uh, these kind of conditions, go to your breaker box, especially when you are using DC breakers which are under constant high stress and switch the breakers from time to time. Because what happened when I, when I came here, of course, I cycled the breaker a few times and then it worked again normally. But still this has to be uh, addressed somehow and I will, uh, of course, do that. Now I'm leaving soon, uh, but when I'm coming back from Austria again to Thailand, I will replace all these breakers with fuses. So what I will use is these bigger fuses, bigger solar fuses, which are uh, meant for higher currents. They're called, I think, R18, 14 millimeters times uh, 51 millimeters long fuses. And yeah, I hope that with this change, all these troubles here will have an end. DC breakers, polarized and non-polarized, I have enough from it. That was it so far. Um, NanQ. There's unfortunately really not many choices when it comes to non-polarized DC breakers, but non-Q, yeah, I would not recommend it to use that brand. So sorry for that, non-Q, but it is like it is. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this video. Please like, comment and subscribe and I see you next time.